Welcome back to Natives React. We're going to cover some videos and also talk about the new TV show Rutherford Falls, which has some native actors and writers, which is really cool to see. Uh, but yeah, let's just hop into it. And we got our first video. What the f are those? They're coming our way and fast. Run, Bob. Run. Run faster than Uncle. I can't. Oh, run! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not in my youth anymore. <laughs> run faster than Uncle. I can. What oh, run? <laughs> I like that end. So what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> he's a goner. He's gone. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> okay, then we got our next video. Somebody once told one. me the world run. is gonna roll me. <laughs> like, what are you doing my work? Yeah. <laughs> Just to let y'all know, I work in construction, so. Relatable, hashtag relatable. 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 Yep, hashtag <laughs> relatable. <laughs> Classic Shrek. Somebody once told me the world is, is, is gonna Oh, I can hear the wind. Don't use a porta potty when it's windy. Jacob's uh, tips. <laughs> Jacob's tips for the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hop to the next video. This is a wholesome video. Sometimes I like look back and I think how cool it is to even be a part of the Native American culture. How thankful I am. Seeing this is like, it's normal. It warms my heart whenever I see these types of videos. <laughs> And keeping that theme of a birthday, we got another one that, yeah, takes place during a birthday dinner. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> done a swift exit. Happy birthday! <laughs> she has left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rapid to go. <laughs> go box. <laughs> just like on cartoons when the character disappears and then all you see is just the plate spinning. <laughs> okay, we got our next video. Telling a fake story in front of your kids. So we just, I just got done taking my kids to the carnival. <laughs> No, not Carnival. We had fun, and then no, no, I was gonna have fun. And then we oh, bought. I bought the new shoes, and then they ate chocolate. I was gonna eat chocolate. Yeah, we had fun, huh, guys? Mm -mm. <laughs> we didn't do that. Or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the same type of energy when you tell your kid that they're a certain age. That way, you can get the child discount. Or when they, oh. or, or when they pull up to the buffet or something, they say, "No, I'm actually older." <laughs> we did that with our littlest brother. If we watch the video, you can hear his sister is actually coughing. I just got done taking my kids to the carnival. <laughs> One of the comments here: "Baby girl coughing because she's allergic to BS." <laughs> mm. <laughs> so we got some Barbies and crew. <laughs> we had fun, and then. No, no, I was gonna have fun. Oh, we did have fun. <laughs> okay, let's check out our next video. Why are you crying, bro? She said I wasn't uncle enough for her. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> but what does that even mean, though? Not uncle enough. She said I wasn't uncle enough for her. <laughs> it's okay, King. She doesn't deserve you. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Settle down now. <laughs> it's all great. With the eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we got our next video, and this one is another TikTok trend. Shoes. Res kids don't need shoes. All right. She's a runner. She's a track star. She gon' run away when it gets hard. <laughs> <laughs> and if we check out Little Man on the Back. Oh, he's no booking it. No shoes. Mm -hmm. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Baby Forrest. Baby Forrest. <laughs> but yeah, there are so many people using that song with their videos and matching it up. And this is another great case of where they decided to use it. My mom has knee problems, which causes her to walk really slow, but it magically goes away at the casino. She's a runner, she's a track star. She gon' run away when it gets hard. She can't take the pain. She Ooh. 
<laughs> Her mom instantly becomes a track star. <laughs> yep. When you say the magical words. Casino. The pain, yep. The pain goes away. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so keeping that in line, there were a good amount of comments related to this video. I work in a casino and every elderly has tunnel vision walking in. You really have to dodge canes, walkers, and wheelchairs. Hey. Ooh. I mean. <laughs> That's kind of true. Every elder becomes the track star. Mm -hmm. My dad states he's broke, but suddenly he's the richest man in the world once he steps into a casino. I'm guilty on that. I am guilty. Double diamonds? Ooh. <laughs> Literally, my mom. She always has headaches, but not at the casino. <laughs> and again, magical word. Casino. <laughs> Selective knee problems. <laughs> I mean, the older you get. You save your running for the special things in life. Yep. True. Mine's will be the buffets. Ooh. That's where you become a track star? Yep. The casino just heals the elderly. It's truly amazing. Exactly. <laughs> Say the medicine words. <laughs> the pain is blocked out by happiness. <laughs> Those are true words. <laughs> this was my grandma. I remember she had to have a wheelchair on the cruise for dinner. When it was time to gamble, she threw that thing aside. <laughs> no, Rona, she's a track star. See her running like this. <laughs> Did you ever see that one video, Jacob? It was like when grandma herds the sheep and she's like, booking it too or oh is uh, it the uh, nike yeah or the something nike puma i think it was puma yeah one it of was, those two. Uh, i've been meaning to cover that video but <laughs> we haven't got around to it grandma she's running away <laughs> <laughs> totally makes me think of that. She's a runner, she's a track star. She gon' run away when it gets hard. And then we got our final one. All of a sudden, the check engine light turns off. <laughs> That's a good analogy, not That's gonna a... lie. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll go ahead and move on to the next section. And this one is just highlighting Rutherford Falls. So if you aren't aware, on the Peacock streaming service, the TV show Rutherford Falls, and it has a lot of natives in the cast. It was primarily written by natives in the writer's room as well. And so this is a really cool moment. I watched the entire series and it's neat. It's basically about two best friends in their community. There's themes of family history, community, tradition, and even cultural teachings. You can definitely tell in the series that it was written by natives. There are like native specific jokes that are up to date. They mentioned Dakota Access Pipeline, Mark Ruffalo. They mentioned a lot of modern native things happening right now. And I thought it was very very refreshing. And so we'll go ahead and check out a few clips that involve native humor. But yeah, I mean, let's hop into it. And now our museum associate director slash intern, Bobby Yang, will hand out some complimentary astronaut ice cream. Well, one at a time. I know we're the same size, but I am your elder. <laughs> I know we're the same size, but I'm your elders. Hey, that's how it is. <laughs> I remember seeing this in the first episode and I was like, whoa, they're actually including like native humor in talking about elders, in talking about a lot of the things we know within our community. And I think it's awesome. They weave those moments into the show as well. Did you finish your science project? She's showing Terry her latest invention, a state-of-the-art ass kissing machine. Thanks guys. Feels great to have the support of my community. Oof. There are many, many people who I know have gone through that. Like an urban native or city native, just really just trying to do good for their community, but still just gets knocked down by their own people because, oh my gosh. They cover it more in the show, but I thought I would go ahead and show this. Let's check out another scene. When would I start? When the stars align. When Grandmother Blue Corn sings in that old way. Okay, Terry. I'm not a white tourist, so talking like that doesn't work on me. Roughly three to five years. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna start using that when the stars align. <laughs> felt like it was customary that they had to include a stoic native moments. Mm -hmm. This next scene I feel like may have applied to us directly. I don't know, but when I saw it, I just could not stop smiling. You know, Regan here is an excellent handy woman. She'll caulk your bathroom. I've never caulked anything in my life. That's why creator gave us YouTube. Hey, 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 hey. That's why the creator gave us YouTube. That's why the creator gave us Natives React. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but this will be another moment of them combining native humor with modern technology and whatnot. Truth is you never deserved Ray. And you have no sense of community or family. Now tell her it's her fault that Ray married a white woman. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's your fault Ray married a white woman. What else? <laughs> 
<laughs> the gossips go around. Wildfire. <laughs> but yeah, like in watching it, you know that the writers know what they're talking about. Maya, I'm telling you, you could get real money for your beadwork. Teach man the fundamentals of supply side economics. Dad, this is just for a friend. Can you not be weird and just be cool? Bet you could get 350 for that. 400 from a white person. Dad! <laughs> I love That's this way. I love that man. The way he thinks. <laughs> you get like the native discount mm -hmm. just because you're native. But yeah, in seeing this too, I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I want that. I want one of those Minecraft zombie medallion. That's amazing. But again, it's just another moment of showing Native Americans in today's modern age. This is something that a daughter could be doing beadwork on that they would be making. Let's go ahead and hop into the next moment. You make me proud, my girl. Oh, and that Young Guns exhibit. Did you see that? What's going on? <laughs> An elder is proud of me. You probably wouldn't understand this, but that was huge. <laughs> <laughs> Again, another moment. An elder is proud of me. And even in the show, they reference Young Guns. That's a classic. What more do you need to watch this show? <laughs> when she said Young Guns, I was like, yeah. ooh. <laughs> but again, it's like showing the different situations that a lot of us natives have gone through or relate to through our community. And then we got the final moment. But who the hell are you to judge when your daughter-in-law buys sage from Urban Outfitters? Jackie George, you bought your traditional outfit. You didn't make it. And Mark Francis, you told everyone you were going to Standing Rock, but we all know you went to Disney World. Oof, ouch. <laughs> I really appreciated its connection to natives in this age what we might relate to, what we are aware of. But overall, I wouldn't say that I think the show is incredible, amazing, but for what it represents, for what it means, yeah, I think that's incredible. I still really enjoyed the series. I would say check it out, it's on Peacock. But I thought that would be really cool to spotlight on our show just because it involved native humor and I feel like we are always talking about natives in the media and wanting to show our, our native people in a good way. Okay guys, now we can move on to the final section of our video, Natives Doing Cool or Unique Things. So last week during the Oscars, uh, you might have seen this commercial. It was by Verizon. Shandine Herrera, she starred in a Verizon commercial to help spread awareness for COVID relief for the Navajo Nation community. It wasn't a matter of if COVID would reach our nation. It was a matter of when. I was able to join a leadership team of 12 indigenous women to coordinate relief for my community. It was pivotal that I had Verizon so I could safely and effectively deliver supplies to them. This is how we are standing up for our people and protecting each other. So I was watching the Oscars when this happened and I remember as soon as this popped up, I was like, wait, I was like, what is this? What? I uh, thought that was neat to see again, just like how we talked about Rutherford Falls, just natives being shown in the limelight. And so I think it's awesome that Shandine Herrera got to do this. And again, it is awesome. Indigenous representation. I think that representation is so important and being that, you know, I work with an all indigenous woman led organization and bringing that to the forefront Front. You know, right when we launched our fundraising effort, within 24 hours, we had raised $50,000. And by day four, we had raised over $100,000. And it just kept growing from there. And so because of that, Shandine Herrera, you are our native who is doing cool or unique things. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We will see you guys later very soon. Next week, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye!